Hi there. In this video, we will see an overview of the released production order within financials for Office 365 and the purpose of this step within the production order process. Released production orders are orders that have been released for manufacturing. When a production order has been released, you can post produced quantity and consumption to it through the production journal. This does not necessarily mean that the component items are picked for the order or that any of its operations have started. It simply means that the order is between release and its completion. You can automatically create a release production order from a sales order. In a make to order situation or environment, it is not unusual to create a release production order immediately after sales order entry. To watch this process, view the planned production order video link within the description. The planning system does not automatically delete a released production order. However, it can suggest a change to the order unless the order has started production. If the planning system suggests a change to a released production order, it marks the suggestion with a warning. You can manually record actual component consumption and production output with a released production order. In addition, automatic flushing of consumption and product output only occurs within the released production order. While this order is on the production floor, you can create various reports such as job cards, material requisition list, and the short list, PDF, Word, and Excel documents. The primary activity within the release production order is accounting for output and consumption within the production journal. Select the Lines tab in the ribbon and click on the relevant link, like so. This journal contributes the functions of the consumption journal and the output journal into one source. Consumption of materials may be processed through flushing methods, manual, forward and backward. From here we can easily record output, consumption, relate the components to operations, relate actual operational data with standard estimates to the production order routing and component lines, as well as post and print an overview of registered operation data for the production order. In the production journal, consumption quantities are posted as negative item ledger entries. Output quantities are posted as a positive ledger entry. And time spent are posted as capacity ledger entries, as you see here. We have just shown how to post a portion of a production order being completed. We have consumed a number of the components, however not the total amount. This can be viewed in the item ledger entries, as we just described, as well as the capacity ledger entries. We can now hop back into the journal and complete the rest of the production order. Quantities and times already posted for the order are displayed at the bottom of the journal as actual entries. Fields where data is irrelevant are blank and write protected. The user can set up the way output quantities are present in the journal. For example, the last operation must have zero as an output quantity. In the production journal, it displays operations and com components together in a logical structure that provides overview of the production process. All components not linked to an operation are linked first, before the first operation. Components with routing link codes are listed on indented lines under their linked operation. We can now complete this production order by populating the consumption to post and clicking post. And finally, if you happen to exit the journal without posting your changes or any changes, a request message is displayed allowing you to stay in the journal. Please note that the production journal should only be opened by one user at one time while using financials for Office 365. This will change our finished and remaining quantities from the line table as you see here. Once completed, the last step is to change the production order to finished or delete. For details about our finished production order, click on the link in this video's description. If you have any questions while using Financials for Office 365, you can click on the question mark for a Windows-specific help page. 
If you want help with a field, click on the caption. Or, for a column, click on the heading and select help, like so. And that is how you use the release production order.